Today I have a product to unbox that is so cool that it comes in three boxes at the same time. Ah! So this is actually, I guess you could probably do it in only two boxes, but this is the Mushkin Copperhead Memory Kit. And so I'm going to show you all the things that it comes with. Keep your eyes on the boxes. Which one has what inside? Given that you don't know what's inside any of them yet, it's going to be very difficult to pick out. Which one has the sexy memory modules and which one has the water block that goes with them. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is what I have here. These are, I actually specifically asked for very basic memory. Um, but most of the Copperhead SKUs are going to be very, very high-end memory. Um, in, you know, PC th uh, DDR3-2133, for example, these are only DDR3-1600 uh, kits. Okay, so these are 2 by 4 gig kits, two of them for a total of 16 gigs of RAM. And this is going to be for my ultimate uh, extreme uh, build guide. Okay, so I'm going to have 16 gigs of Mushkin DDR3 now. The reason that I ended up going with the DDR3-1600 versus like a 2133 or an 1866, higher spec like that, is that I opted for this machine to go with higher capacity of RAM. So if I had decided to go for a 2x4, so just 8 gigs of total RAM, then being able to get it to run at high frequencies is much easier. Whereas if I go for lower frequencies, then I can bulk up and I can throw in 4 sticks of memory without worrying about any stability problems. Now. Here is where the magic happens. This, I'm going to be careful not to touch the top as much as possible, is the Mushkin Enhanced Copperhead Water Block. So what you do is you take these two pieces right here, which are spacers that have O-rings on them. You put those spacers here. Okay, you screw your, th uh, your barbed, um, your threaded barb into the top of it and you can actually install any standard G1 quarter fittings that you want onto the copperhead water block. But wait, there's more. You take the copperhead water block, all right, so we got our screws here, position it over top of a copperhead memory module and you can actually screw in any number of copperhead modules, whether it is three or four, I think four is the max, and you screw that in, you put some thermal interface material in between the top of the copperhead module here, which you can see is flat, and the bottom of the water block itself, and that is how you cool your memory using water cooling. So, what this allows you to do is it allows you to install these modules and then the block on top of it, no matter what the spacing of your RAM slots is, and it allows you to install three three sticks in triple channel or up to four sticks in dual channel. So stay tuned for my ultimate build guide. Actually, if you come over here, you can see my in progress ultimate machine, which will actually be a lot better when I'm done with it. So don't look too closely at it right now. And thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Mushkin Copperhead Liquid Cooled Memory Kit. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.